slide. Ain't going back to What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is Robbie here, YouTube The Budget, back with another video. All right, guys. So, man, I haven't made a minute. Uh, I haven't made a video in a minute. To y'all, it might not seem like it, but man, I made so many videos for when I bought my truck. I didn't have to make a video for literally two weeks. So that's how much content I have, um, which is, I'm never doing it again, man, because it got me lazy. And honestly, I don't feel like making videos no more. So I'm not doing that crap again. So I'm gonna go back to my old way where I actually just make a video, post it the next day, uh, or post it the same day. But this video, guys, is a update on the F, well, that boosted F-150. Um, none of my parts have came in yet, none of them. Um, my accessory parts, I'm saying. The lift is being started on. They ripped everything out. Um, I'm gonna show you a video right about now. As you can see, nothing is underneath the car. It's crazy. A brand new car, still got paper tags. I got the tag, the, the uh, license plate. But I'm trying to get custom ones. They denied me on my license plate. But as you see underneath the car, it's nothing there. Only a few people will understand what's going on. I'm not going to say anything. Y'all just have to wait and watch. Uh, I don't know what the heck that was. But yeah, uh, only a couple of people will see what's going on underneath the car if you pay very close attention and that is giving you a hint and that's all i'm doing guys that's all i'm doing but other than that guys so officially the car is being lifted now their deadline is to uh i'm sorry uh friday the 17th now they got the dub houston car show coming i don't know if i want to enter my car or my truck i don't know yet but it would be nice, man. I haven't been to the show there in a long time. And the other thing about this show, I have never, ever won a trophy at a dub car show. Because the competition is crazy. I've been to one, two, I think, oh, I've only been to two of them, I think. Two or three of them, man, I can't remember. I think I've been to three of them, maybe two of them. I took the, the in Houston, um, yeah, I've been to two of them with the Park Avenue and never won. Um, so that kind of motivated me. If you've seen the previous video, you haven't seen the video, please click the um, card right here of my Park Avenue. But yeah, man, uh, I'm excited. I get my truck back next week at the end of the week. Hopefully, if everything goes right, and which it should, man. Um, I, I have huge faith in straight up uh, off-roading performance that's the reason why i went with them because i could have went it's a place literally down the street right here on uh four wheel parts or some crap and then it's another one down the street that way it's like three or four shops it might within the next in the next 15 to 20 miles well not even that much yeah 15 miles maybe 10 miles but i chose to drive all the way across the year no here all the way across the world to drop my truck off to get lifted um and everybody keep asking me in the comments what am i doing i'm getting it lifted man i'm not doing a leveling kit i don't like leveling kits um i want to sit high and then the rims i have 24 by 14s uh in order for me not to cut a whole lot i still have to cut i think they still gonna have to cut a little i have to get it lifted at eight inches if you didn't know um but other than that, man, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait. Uh, Mark hooking it up. But that's the update on the freaking F one fifty, man. Y'all was wondering. Um, it's officially being worked on now. It should be done on the seventeenth. So if y'all see me go live, guys, I'm excited. You might want to watch it. Uh, I'm not gonna show everything. I probably just show me how high I'm sitting up driving the truck. Um, but. These trucks are getting lifted is expensive all the stuff definitely all the stuff i'm doing uh, but I, I feel like if i'm gonna do it i might as well go all out to um getting it done that's just how i feel but i don't know i might hit up that dub car show 
Uh, comment below. Do y'all think I should take my truck freshly out the shop to a car show? I'm thinking about taking the car and the truck. Um, I know, hopefully, it depends on what time he finished the lift. I want to take my truck to get re man, because I can't do the regular tent. I just can't do it. So I wanted to get it tinted all the way around dark. Not doing the windshield. I know y'all thinking my wife's going to drive this truck. I ain't trying to get her pulled over and all that. But other than that, man, comment below. Tell me what you think. You think I should go to the car show on the 18th? That's when I start my vacation on that day. So do y'all think I should go to the car show or not? This is Robbie Joe, but you guys, like I always say, man, y'all have a blessed and proper, proper, proper. Y'all have a blessed day, man. Nigga can't talk.